everyone! So today's video is going to be a little vlog and because of that I am going to be again filming my face and talking with my phone and then the rest with my camera. Also very minimal makeup today because of kind of the nature of this video because I really want to do some oddities scavenging today and get some more dead stuff in to make art out of and things. Easier doing that when I'm not super dressed up because it's a bit impractical and I'm scrounging around in the dirt looking for bones. I don't really want to be getting my clothes and my hair and stuff dirty doing that but we'll be focusing more on like bones and nature rather than my face today so <laughs> hope that's okay. So it's a really lovely spring day today and I've really just been itching to get outside and just go for a walk and go adventuring and find some dead stuff whichever comes first I guess and I really wanted to bring you guys along for it. I've only ever done one oddity scavenging vlog before I'm pretty sure which was many years ago I think I was like 18. The whole video was completely on a whim. I didn't plan it at all. I was just like coming home from school and then I found like this really cool nature spot and I just happened to have a camera with me and keep finding dead stuff so yeah that was like completely random. But this time it's actually planned. Hopefully I do get to find some dead stuff because sometimes I go out looking for it and I don't really find anything at all or I find like two bones and that's it. So I'm thinking if I can't find any dead stuff this will just be like an adventure vlog, being out in nature, exploring, seeing what we can find. Or it might be both, I don't know. I, I just feel like these, there needs to be like a backup plan in case I don't find any dead stuff. So yeah we'll just see what happens. I'll see you when we're out adventuring. <laughs> first dead thing. It looks like some kind of small shark or fish or something. I'm gonna pick it up. Hopefully it's not too stinky though. So here it is up close. It's a little stinky but it's very mummified and it, I think it's definitely some kind of small shark. I think someone probably caught this and then left it there things a bit beaten up. Thank you. 
I just found a couple of little treasures here. Got one abalone shell and then two little bird vertebrae. felt the most comfortable filming up here because I feel like maybe less people can see me. I found this really pretty spot though. I don't know exactly what it is. It's like, it's almost like a meadow but I feel like that's not what it actually is. But it's so pretty. There's so many like birds and rabbits and butterflies and stuff everywhere. It's so cute. I don't even know how I ended up here but I'm glad I did. There's also a lot of screaming children here though which is not ideal but <laughs> comes with being in a public place I guess. Anyway, I haven't found that much dead stuff lately, only what I have shown you so far. I'm hoping I can have a bit more of a look around to see if I can find anything else because there's a particular spot that I had in mind that I wanted to go to today to look for stuff and I haven't actually been there yet. This has all just been on the way there. I really underestimated how long it would take to walk there because I always go past it on my bus but I've never walked there before so I didn't think it would take this long. I did find a couple of other things that aren't dead stuff but are still cool. I found this. It's a natural quartz crystal rock thing and I thought it was cool and it's got like little shiny facets and stuff. And I also found a Sea Shepherd sticker, which I was pretty happy with because I collect a lot of stickers and patches to do with obviously animal rights and all that stuff. So yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna like stick that on my art book or something, I think. I'm just gonna hang out here for a little bit, maybe have something to eat, and then I'll keep going in my search for dead stuff. But yeah, this is kind of just like what it's like when I'm having a day out scavenging. Sometimes I find a lot of really cool stuff, sometimes I don't find much stuff at all, but I do come across really cool places like this, so it's all part of doing this kind of stuff. Yeah, I enjoy it though. I like seeing all the cute naturey things along the way and like different animals and stuff and trees and different spots to hang out later. It's just part of the fun, so yeah, I'm gonna go eat something and I'll see you soon, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
found this partial bird skull. I had a feeling I'd find bird bones here, so it's a good start. So I just found a bunch of feathers, which led to a dead bird. I think this is a Murray magpie. I have a couple of these, but I might still pick it up if the skull is good. We'll see. these little bird bones. That part there is the scapula and then these two bones are part of the wing. I'm gonna have to identify it when I get home. Just found this really cute little speckly bird egg. Oh my god it's so cute. I'm gonna have to take this one. I don't know what bird it's from but it's still cool. I just spotted this bird skull from up in the tree, but it's been crushed. Someone must have stepped on it. It looks like it was probably from a little Corella. I already have about nine of these, but the fact it's crushed is still sad. So I won't be picking that one up. Oh well. home. I'm currently in my studio just because it has the best lighting since it's the end of the day but it's like super messy in here because we're still fixing it up and everything and painting the walls and replacing the carpet and all that stuff so that's why the background's so crazy here so I apologize. So obviously since I'm home I'm done with my adventuring and scavenging for the day. I did get two other things that I didn't film just because my memory card was filled up. Anyway so the other two bones I got were just one bone that I think is from a foot possibly from a hoofed creature and then the other one was some vertebrae from a bird i think it's probably from a pelvis bone because the vertebrae is fused in that area it was like somewhat successful i guess but i've definitely had some better <laughs> scavenging outcomes in the past but it was a really fun day i enjoyed just adventuring and getting to know the area I guess. So that's it for this video. Hopefully if I do any other scavenging videos in the future there might be some more exciting stuff than this time but I'm still grateful for what I found. So I think that's it. My cat is waiting for his dinner so we're gonna go and eat and cook and stuff. Sorry. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and we will see you next time. Go on, say bye. And me. Hmm? Good boy. Good boy. Such a good boy.